Kendall has been great. One of the things that I fell in love with last year was the, the regular video assist that you came out with, but then you had to go ahead and raise the bar and do something even more spectacular. And this year it is the Video Assist 4K. This thing is absolutely awesome. Hi, Sue Lawson here with BSVP at the Black Magic design booth here at NAB 2016. So as you said, last year we had the five inch 1920 by 1080 HD model. So this year we came out with a new seven inch. Seven inches. 1920 by 1200. Great thing about this is you can record onto SD card all the way up to Ultra HD. And so you have two card slots here. If one fills up, it'll automatically switch over to the other. And they're hot swappable too. I mean, yeah, I, I can. Yep, exactly. So you can just pull one out, pop the other one in there. There's things like headphone jack and link control on this, obviously. It's all touch screen, just like the previous model. And you also have on the other side here, you have the ability to go in HDMI. You also have SDI, recessed full SDI connections here. And you have XLR minis on here, full phantom power. So depending on how you're working, you can set this up with the uh, connectors and go out to full XLR connections. Now I'm looking here on the back. It looks as though I can put some batteries on there. You can hook a couple batteries on here, the LP6 batteries. The nice thing about this, there's two slots for that. Once one battery drains out, it'll automatically jump over to the next. And again, you can hot swap the batteries if you need to. That is awesome. Now when is this going to be available? Uh, it is available right now, and it's uh, $8.95. For anybody who wants to know what it is I'm buying when I'm out here, <laughs> I'm buying this and that and that and that. You guys make great stuff. One of the things that I thought was really kind of amazing about the Video Assist 4K is that it's not limited to Blackmagic cameras. I mean, if I'm working with something else, I can still use that. Exactly, so you can see here we have it uh, rigged up with an Ursa Mini, but if you wanted to hook it up to a DSLR, um, even our micro studio camera would be a great option because that does not have a monitor on it. So this would be one way that you could actually see visually what you're shooting with. And you could record, of course, a backup if you needed to, or just a different format for that matter. Great thing is uh, the SD card slots here. You don't have to use something that's a little more expensive like CFast cards. You can use your traditional SD cards on here. Less money, and you can record flavors of ProRes or DNX HD. And that's all determined through my, my menu setup on the screen itself, right? That's right. Yeah, you can see right here we have codecs so you can go through and you can easily go through all the ProRes settings and just set that up. Absolutely awesome. We didn't talk about Resolve at all. No, so Resolve actually, we came out with a new 12.5. Uh, it really could have been a 13 release. It has that many features in it. It's like 250 new features in there. They've done things like connect to our Fusion product, the 3D compositing. Oh, you knew I was going to Fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can jump back and forth now uh, very seamlessly in between Fusion and Resolve. That's a nice thing. And then some of the other features they've added in there are some of the curves and the handles. You can go in and, and do keyframing. You can paste those and put them around for the editing. But you can also do time remapping for slow motion things. I mean, there's so many things that just goes on and on. So I always recommend to people to go on the website, blackmagicdesign.com, download the free version of Resolve or Fusion for that matter, and just test it out. I mean, it's a full color correction editing software package. Now they're both Mac and PC. They are, yeah. So you have no reason not to go, aside from the fact that, and I, I'm an editor myself. I'm edited on many platforms, yeah. but more and more I've been hearing this year out here that once you go into Resolve, there's never a reason to go back again. Well, I mean, the nice thing is you can do all your coloring in there. It has all the professional editing tools. I mean, they've added even more this year with drop-down menus just to make it more seamless, easier to use. Uh, but you can still, if you want to connect with Final Cut Pro or if you want to get into Avid, you want to get into Premiere, you can do that. You, you can, but yeah. you don't have to anymore. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, you know, I mean, you could, you're right. You could stay in there if you wanted to, sure. You can definitely stay in there. I mean, you, you might start someplace else, but you go in, you do your color, and yeah. you, can, you can finish it because nothing's ever really locked. <laughs> so if there is a last-minute change, you don't have to bring everything out to make that change. You can go ahead and make the change with that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. They're all awesome. It's black magic design. Anything that I didn't ask that I forgot about because I'm overwhelmed by the magnitude? No, I mean, there's a few other software updates. I mean, I just recommend people go on the website and they're actually on the front page of our website. They'll have the list of all of the new updates. Yeah. 
Blackmagic Design, Kendall Eckman, Sue Lawson, BSVP on site here at NAB 2016. Thanks so much.